Today, we will be discussing about magnetic properties in D block metal ions or transition metal ions. Find that there are two types of magnetic behavior. It can be diamagnetic or paramagnetic. Diamagnetic substances are those which are repelled away from the magnet, whereas paramagnetic substances are attracted towards the magnet. You find that paramagnetic substances will contain at least one unpaired electron in them. Most of the d-block elements in the ionic state are found to be paramagnetic in nature. Paramagnetic behavior can be measured using what is called spin-only magnetic moment. The spin-only magnetic moment is represented by the letter Greek letter mu. Mu is equal to square root of n into n plus 2, where n stands for the number of unpaired electrons. And this is given the unit Bohr magneton. We'll calculate the magnetic moment for different ions, starting from scandium. Scandium ions, scandium 3 plus. We know scandium is having the atomic number 21. So the configuration will be argon 4s2 3d1. When it becomes scandium 3 plus, it has to lose 3 electrons. So the configuration becomes argon. How many unpaired electrons are there then? You find that it is not having any unpaired electron. N value is 0. So what will be the mu value? Mu value is equal to square root of N into N plus 2, which is 0 Bohr magneton. Coming to the second example. Take the case with titanium. Titanium atomic number is 22. So what will be the configuration here? It will be argon 4s2 3d2. Suppose it is forming titanium 2 plus Ti2 plus. How is it formed? By losing two electrons from this atom, we get Ti2 plus. The outermost electron is the 4s electron. So the configuration becomes argon 4s0 3d2. So 3d2 you find that d orbitals are degenerate. So it follows the Hunt's rule and then we get how many unpaired electrons here? Two unpaired electrons so that means what will be the n value n value is equal to 2 so that means mu value the spin only magnetic moment can be calculated using the formula n into n plus 2 which will come to square root of 2 into 2 plus 2 so what is the value square root of 2 into 4 that means root 8 root 8 root 9 is 3 so root 8 will be 2.9 Bohr magneton hope it is clear third example manganese atomic number 25 configuration is argon 4s2 3d5 on removing two electrons, it becomes Mn2+. The configuration becomes argon 4s0, 3d5. Number of unpaired electrons will be 5 there. So mu value will be equal to square root of 5 into 5 plus 2. That is root 35 which is equal to 5.9 Bohr magneton. Now come to the question. What can be inferred from the magnetic moments of the following complexes? The data is given here. From this, we are supposed to calculate the value and compare it with the observed value. To solve this question, one has to identify what type of ligand is present in the complexes. We have Cl-, H2O, 
and Cn minus in the complexes. According to the spectrochemical series, we find that Cl minus is a weak ligand, whereas water is moderately weak and Cn minus is a strong ligand. Take the first case K4 Mn Cn6. Cn minus is 1, charge is negative 1. Potassium is plus 1. So manganese will have the oxidation state plus 2. Configuration is argon 4s0 3d5. Total of 5 unpaired electrons are present in manganese. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, the configuration changes slightly because pairing up of occurs in the case of manganese. So then manganese will have the new configuration 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pairing up occurs. So here we have 3D orbitals followed by 4S then comes the 3, 4p orbitals. Total of 6 orbitals are involved because we have to accommodate 6 Cn minus. So then the hybridization will be 2 yes, sp3. Number of unpaired electrons become equal to 1. So mu value will be root of 1 into 1 plus 2. Remember the formula root of n into n plus 2. So the value is 1.73 Bohr magneton. Check the value with the given data. You find the given data is around 2.2 bore magneton so why there is a difference in the value is because of the contribution of the orbital magnetic moment so this is the value for spin only magnetic moment in addition to that there is some orbital contribution also towards the magnetic moment which results in the value 2.2 bore magneton Next complex given is Fe H2O6 times 2 plus. Water is having the charge 0, so iron is having plus 2 oxidation state, configuration being argon 4s0 3d6. So the configuration becomes. one two three four five six how many unpaired electrons four we know that water is moderately uh, weak ligand so you find that pairing up is not possible in the case so you find that iron will resort to the configuration with four unpaired electron itself so then you find that Four unpaired electrons will remain as such. Then comes 4s. Next is 4p. So 4d orbitals are also taken for hybridization. So you get the hybridization with sp3d2. It is sp3d2 number of unpaired electrons is equal to 4 so mu value will be root of 4 into 4 plus 2 because the value is root of n into n plus 2 n is 4 here so then the value becomes root 24 25 is 5 that means the value is 4.9 Bohr magneton and the value given here is close to that the value given is 5.3 why there is a difference in the values because of the contribution of 
orbital magnetic moment hope it is clear take the case of the last complex k2 mncl4 here potassium has plus 1 oxidation state cl is having negative 1 so mn is in plus 2 oxidation state configuration is argon 4s0 3d5 so total of how many unpaired electrons 1 2 3 4 5 3d will have 5 orbitals and the 5 orbitals will have 5 unpaired electrons in them now cl is a weak ligand and you find that it involves only 4 ligands so then we can use the 4s and the 4p orbitals for hybridization so you get hybridized orbitals that is sp3 and number of unpaired electrons is equal to 5 so mu value becomes root of 5 into 7 which is equal to root 35 which is 5.9 Bohr magneton in the question it's given as 5.9 Bohr magneton means this molecule or the complex does not have any orbital contribution hope it is clear thank you